I don't know how many he plans to make or how much material to move. <laughs> Okay, fine folks of the internet, uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm getting back to reviewing. And I'm going to kick things off with something that's easy to do because uh, it's not a trick by itself. It is a tool. It's a utility item. But it's also easy because I'm starting with a name synonymous with quality magic wallets, and that is Tony Miller. So actually, I would call it part of a trilogy. Once upon a time, you had the real man's wallet. Eventually, you had the real man's speed loader wallet, and now you got the real man's everyday carry wallet. And when I say everyday carry, I'm talking not only does it fit in a front pocket like a normal wallet would, it's not a minimalist wallet, but it's not unreasonable to have in your front pocket, fits in your back pocket or hip pocket like it should. If you care to put it in a breast pocket, it will go there. But I'm saying for the average guy, you know, going to work and sitting and moving, this thing can be spilled on, twisted, pulled, stomped on, uh, and the secrets that make it function will be just fine. And in a moment, I am going to give you a close-up look. I'll get an overhead shot here and uh, take a look at some of the features up close and personal. Um, but what makes this thing so unique and so tough is this is literally just made of cork. I'm actually going to include a link, thanks to Steve Goldstein, about uh, the whole process of uh, getting cork materials or cork items like wallets and things like that and the process that goes into it. But it's environmentally sound compared to most. Uh, it doesn't harm animals. And uh, for the most part, it looks and functions like a regular wallet. There is one detail aesthetically that I'm telling you laymen will probably never ever care about, but magicians are going to be a little nitpicky about, and I will cover that when I do the overhead shot. So that's the wallet at first look, and then we'll take a closer look at it here. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice about this wallet is that it looks almost like it's been rained on or that it got wet and truth be told that is the one thing some people are going to be concerned about some people may not like that look but with just a little distance and depending how the light hits it it's going to look like a pretty typical solid black wallet and honestly, if it ever came up, I would love talking about this wallet, to be honest, because it's so unique, because the whole thing is, you know, uh, made of cork. And this is just the look all cork wallets are going to have, especially if they've been dyed uh, any type of color. And if they're not dyed, they look literally like cork, because they're made of cork. <laughs> so this is just dyed cork leather is what they call it, cork leather, but it's a, it's a fake leather. And it's just going to have that look to it. So if that really bothers you, turn off this review and you're good to go. Basically, I'm going to cover what it can do more so than anything else. So we're looking at a wallet that holds six credit cards and has an ID window. Obviously, I took my ID out of there. But as a regular day-to-day -day wallet, you can truly beat the crap out of this thing. All right, here we are. So you can really, you could run this underwater right now. You could stomp on it. I could stomp on it. I was tempted to take it out and run over it with the car. But you can really bang this thing up and then put it in your wallet or put it, you know, put the wallet back in your pocket and you're good to go and you are back looking like it normally would. So this thing takes a licking, keeps on ticking, that type of wallet. So material-wise, if, if the look doesn't bother you and the functions are ones that you like, this is going to be a really fun purchase for a lot of you. 
Okay, so the method for the no palm wallet, those of you that know are going to know. You're looking at it right now. Uh, it is not on both sides. The, the load is one side and uh, will come out in the money compartment, right? Which, if this is open, also you can use it as a full bill fold. Um, you don't have to fold your bills in half or anything like that. But this is where the card will be removed. And that's your straight no palm card to wallet. Now, let's say you have something you want to do a future prediction type thing. So you have a card, you show face down, right? Uh, you can put that card face down into the wallet and then very easily steal it away. You can steal it away in cop palm or you could steal it away on top of the deck however you want to do it but you get rid of that card now when you're ready to load a card whatever their sign selection is right you showed that card in there from the beginning but now and you could show that there's still only one card in there but now that card is their signed card it's really cool so essentially you can use it as a switch feature, switching predictions, a blank business card for one that you've written on or one that you do some writing on while you talk to the audience member. So you can do you can do pocket writing. You can do a peak. The peak will not be 100 percent coverage, but it will be about 80 percent, pretty close to it. So you put their card in, you close the wallet, you lay it down and at the opportune moment you get your peak. Um, also, if you have a card, a business card, a blank card in there already and have it in your front pocket, you can do some pocket writing. So there's that option. Uh, so look, just from this one load option, you've got a peak, switch, pocket writing, uh, and a signed card to wallet, right? And then this side of it here, if you want to put something in face down, then if I wanted to use this as strictly a peak, I would not recommend using this section as a peak and card to wallet reveal for reasons that should be kind of obvious. But if you do it as a peak, you have it put in face down. Now you go to set the wallet down like that and you've gotten your peak already. That's it. That easy. Okay. So you do have a basically full peak option here. That functions, if you're familiar with Tony Miller's uh, Complete Peak Wallet, it functions kind of like that. So then there's the Palm Card to Wallet, right? So imagine this thing. They've signed their card. It's been lost in the deck. You pull your wallet out. You can lay it down. They can open it, especially because of Tony's simple but smart half moon design in the ID window. I would absolutely not hesitate to give this to someone because what are they going to do they're going to open it up and then they're going to unsnap it so keep in mind you got to fold it over then you got to unsnap it and then they're going to see a face down card and a half moon what i did when i got the wallet what you will do what anybody would do is pinch it right here and pull out the card and they absolutely can do that and there's nothing to expose or get revealed so you're looking at pocket writing, no palm card to wallet, palm card to wallet. The great thing about that, you could do two signed cards. One appears here and one appears here. So you could do two signed cards to wallet, signed cards to wallet, no palm, palm method, peak, pocket writing, switch, um, two different peak methods. You know, you've got... Uh, a really devastating little wallet here that can truly take the beating of an everyday wallet. Unlike leather, and Tony loves his leather wallets. He makes his leather wallets. You love his leather wallets. I love his leather wallets. But if you want something uh, that humidity is not going to affect, weather is not going to affect, if it's rainy out, oh my God, I don't want to take out my wallet and, and it gets wet, this can get wet. It can be humid and that's not going to affect the load area clearly this wallet is not for everybody um tony knows it and that's okay every wallet cannot be for everybody all the time but if this 
look does not bother you. This is one of the better, better wallets I've uh, handled and messed around with in a long time. But it has features that I personally like. I love the no palm load. And also, by the way, just because it's a no palm load, if you guys, I know there's some of you out there that are like, ah, just learn how to palm a damn card. Da, 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 right? Well, for God's sake, let's say this is in your pocket. You palm the card, go pull it out of your pocket, just set it right there. And now you're ready to go, right? You can still palm a card and put it against the wallet. It, the, the no palm doesn't mean you can't palm to do the trick. It just means you don't have to. I don't know why people get so hung up on that. I especially love the palm load. I think it's simple and it's brilliant. And when I first opened up this wallet, I actually thought the only feature it offered was the no palm option. Um, that's how well Tony made this, that this part, which is, you know, obviously gimmicked, actually fooled me. I didn't think it was gimmicked until I started playing around quite a bit more. So that's where we're at. Uh, you've got multiple functions without it being overbearing. And last time Tony and I spoke, his price point on this was going to be around $75, which if you take the time to see what cork items cost, that is more than reasonable, in my opinion. And some of you are naturally going to ask. Um, I don't know if he is ever going to make this part removable. But just so we're all on the same page, this does not come out. It just It's sewn in. But technically speaking, if he were to make it removable, you could essentially have a Molica load uh, type option. Kind of like his triple threat wallet. Um, so yes, he could make this uh, removable. I don't know if it just becomes too thick or just too much of a pain in the ass to do. Uh, I, I don't really know. But if enough of you bother him <laughs> and ask him about it, maybe he'll consider it. Uh, as of right now, what I do know is the price point. Um, these are going to you know, be available to my knowledge only from Tony Miller directly at rfaproductions.com uh, if you like this let Tony know you want one I don't know how many he plans to make or how much material he has to make them uh, but I think if there's enough demand and enough interest he can always get more so that's it the real man's everyday carry and uh, for all intents and purposes it is the truest everyday carry wallet that I believe has ever been made. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to doing more. It's been nice to get back into this. And uh, until next time, peace out.